Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you have landed on AstroCast. This is your weekly forecast from June 5th to June 11th. Okay, so we have a few planets impacting, if you will, uh, this week's energy. And one of them is Venus, one of them is Mercury, one of them is Pluto. So first of all, Mercury will completely station direct this week out of its shadow stage uh, and into the sign of Gemini, uh, uh, right around the same time when Pluto will move into Capricorn. So Pluto's retrograde moving back from Aquarius to Capricorn. This is going to intensify communication. And, you know, some people shy away from the word intensity. I feel like intensity um, is depth. It's supportive. It's real. It's authentic, right? So this week is really about depth of conversations, like getting to the bottom of things, um, having those conversations that maybe have been brewing for a long time that have, um, you know, the potential to change the trajectory of a relationship or even the trajectory of your life, right? So this is really about going into the depths of how you can communicate, who you're communicating with. And because Venus is opposite Pluto, this is going to have a lot to do with your value, uh, your worthiness, what you value, your uh, ability to create financial abundance, um, love. It could be any one of those topics, right? And so, you know, it's really an important week to pay attention to mm, where you kind of feel that little thing in your throat where you're like, I know I want to say the thing, but I'm a little nervous to say the thing. Um, or maybe you've had this really beautiful, great creative idea. This week is the week to communicate that energy out into the world. Remember, we just experienced full moon Sagittarius, which is all about going for it. And then Jupiter conjuncting the North Node, which is all about karmic reality, you know, giving yourself that opportunity to expand, you know, your awareness around what you really think you can be, do, or contribute. So this is the week where you take that and you communicate it out into the world. And, you know, some people are going to be like, yay, this is great. Or, wow, this was really necessary. And <laughs> some people may not. And none of that really matters. What really matters is that you uh, give yourself that space to communicate your truth. So this week is about depth of communication. Um, I would look at in particular, like new ideas you have, um, you know, um, old relationships, maybe that need a little bit of foo-fooing. <laughs> um, maybe your travel plans, like check in with your travel plans. If you have some just check them, check the list, ding, 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 right? Make sure everything's kind of ready to go and look at um, potentially some of the life choices you've made in the past that have got you here where you are right now. And then maybe take a breath before you make those next choices, right? So that you become a um, willing participant in the storyline of your life. Um, Venus is going to square Pluto as well. And when, when Venus and Pluto, they're considered in astrology, the two benefics, which means that they, uh, have, um, lots of, oomph, lots of, um, positive energy when they square each other, this is really about, um, amplifying that sense of, um, harmony and, um, worthiness and value and expansion in your life. So I, I feel like, you know, sometimes we have to have those um, moments in time where we communicate our truth in a way that, of course, is loving and supportive and um, kind, right? We can uh, move through uh, challenging times in our life. And on the other side of that, that's that gift of Venus and um, Jupiter. It just expands our awareness beyond what we thought was possible. So this is a beautiful week to do that. Have the conversations, be loving, be kind, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.